Kristen Tanks with Southern Eagles Archery, a bare bow shooter. Uh, I'm Rishi Kamalapati. I'm a recurve archer at MIT. Well, this is weird. You can't hear yourself, huh? <laughs> no. Um, it's very unsettling, but we'll get used to it. So up next, we have Brittany McCarthy um, and Sierra Nation, who's going to be representing our barebow women in this gold medal match. So as a barebow shooter myself, I have to say that this rain is not All going right, to be fun. Yeah, it just came on so suddenly, uh, right, right before the men's compound match. Yeah. Um, it doesn't seem like they were warming up during the rain, so I'm wondering how they're going to adjust for this. Yeah, um, so they shot a couple of rounds I was noticing, but they kind of stopped. They had been shooting since um, early this morning, so it's never good to, you know, keep shooting. Yeah, you don't want to tire yourself shooting. out, right? Yeah, you definitely want to have that break. So we're going to see in a minute how, you know, they can adjust and, and shoot in the rain. Um, Let's see how it goes. Yeah, thank yeah. you for joining us on the USA Archery YouTube channel. And just as a reminder, we're at Georgia Southern University in Statesboro, Georgia, and we are shooting the 2023 USA Archery Collegiate Target Nationals. Target 32, Brittany McCarthy. It's a big thing wow. being able to represent your college here. Um, we've got all, as you can hear, the cheering fans um, from all teams. So, Rishi, you're a recurve shooter, correct? That is correct, yeah. Right, so what's your experience with um, shooting in these high-pressure situations? Well, uh, I haven't really been in a situation like this before, the single arrow, or with the gold medal matches where they're shooting 20 seconds each on the timer. Yeah. But uh, they've been handling it pretty well so far in the compound. And what you have to do here is, the second your opponent fires, you have 20 seconds to take your next shot. And they're trading back and forth uh, until they've each shot three arrows. Got Brittany there with a uh, six. six. Wow. It's a strong start for Bear Bow in the rain, getting adjusted. Yeah, they've really got to calibrate in. Ooh, nice yeah. nine. It's a nice nine from Sierra. All right. Got, it looks like somewhere in the blue five. at top. It's a five. But the good thing about um, Bear Bow and something that's going to be different from the previous matches is. Uh, the set point system. Right. So p compound works on a cumulative score, mm -hmm. but um, you probably have more experience with the set point system. If you want to explain that. Sure. Yeah. So the set point, the way the set point system is, works is that they each shoot their three arrows. They go down there and score, and whoever takes the high score in that round gets two points. If they tie, they each get one point, no. and they're competing to get to a total of six points, six set points, um, first. Yeah, and then um, if they tie at that five, we get to a one arrow shoot off. So the total amount of ends possible is six. Um, so we'll see now. But the good thing about set point system is you can lose. Um, it doesn't matter lose how. And then you get yeah. to reset after after that set. So Sierra here has won this first end, but it's bare bow, and you never know what's going to happen next. Yeah. yeah, it really allows for really strong comebacks. Yeah. Definitely. No matter how much you lose by or how much you win by, the next set is just as important. Mm -hmm. I had a teammate, um, Emma Bates, actually this weekend came back. Uh, she was 0-4. She came back and won 6-4. That's so really incredible, yeah. Yeah. It just goes to show you anything can happen in Barebo. All right, so we've got some results from the earlier gold medal matches today. We had, uh, from Fixed Pins Women, we had Kimber Wheeler, who shot a oh she won 141 to 130 uh, in fixed pins men we had clay dempsey who won 137 to 131 yeah and for compound women we had marissa harding win uh, 145 to 140 that's pretty close and the compound men we just had sawyer sullivan win 147 to 145 also a really close match yeah really incredible watching those scores out here today and for for compound I'm really surprised how well they adjust because whenever I watch Kempon, usually they're really settling into that shot, staying at full draw for a long time before shooting. But now they've yeah. only got 20 seconds and they have to start that shot right after their opponent. Yes. Um, so, again, like that high pressure situation, they both did really well, um, especially with these weather conditions and this, um, you know, just the pressure of the tournament and representing their, their college on this stage. Yeah. That's something great about collegiate archery. Like you see these big teams behind these two archers and they're all cheering when they shoot tens and they're all there to support them when they uh, need, a, need a little bit of strength uh, to come back. Yeah, it's a big event. Um, 
really glad that we got to host it here at Georgia Southern University. Um, it was a long time in the making, kind of getting everything set up and ready to go. Uh, we came out here in the week before the tournament to get everything set up, and we're glad it turned out great. Yeah, well, you guys did a really great job. This is one of the best run tournaments I've ever been at. Really? And, yeah, there's been no, no issues for me so far, and it's just an insane number of bales. When we're shooting qualifying rounds, there's 112-something bales. That is awesome to hear. We had some trouble, you know, getting stuff off the trail and stuff, but it all worked out. You get seven down range? Yeah, even if it's getting rained on. <laughs> yeah, and the weather this week has been so, like, variable. Uh, we got a nine down range. Yeah, nine, nine from Sierra. See how Brittany responds. She responds with an eight. Eight. Yeah, and when you're thinking about um, bare bows, like you're thinking about a completely different piece of equipment. There's no sights, there's no stabilizers. They are just um, basically going off intuition. That was a great shot from Brittany with a nine. Yeah, so when they're getting their equipment expected before the tournament, bare bows actually have to pass through a very small, not, not that small, but they have to pass through a special ring that the judges have. That's pretty small. <laughs> it, yeah, it's, yeah, my recurve definitely wouldn't fit through it. <laughs> oh, no. And so that's why their weights on the front there, on the bottom half of the riser, are very short. Um, they have to fit through that ring. And you actually see sometimes, I'm not sure if either competitors have it right now, but they'll have a very long and rectangular weight that tapers mm -hmm. against the riser so that you get, you are able to fit through that but spread out that weight on the bottom half of the yeah. riser. Anything that works to kind of steady out that shot. Um, bare bow is, is, as it sounds, it's you don't get to have all the, the sights and stabilizers the bells and whistles to help. Bit, yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's really fun. It's a more traditional style of archery. Yeah, it's pretty fluid, right? Yeah. Oh, there's wind. I got to aim more to the left. Yeah, it's it's... It's very intuitive. You yeah. definitely have to be able to see where your shot goes down range and make those adjustments yeah. on the fly yeah, yeah. to put it in the center. And something I really like about bare bow as well is how different each bow looks. Mm. Um, when you get to recurve, it's like once they have the three stabilizers in the sight, they start to all kind of look the same with different colors. Yeah. But bare bow is like you have a great variety of risers, limbs, and weight designs. So yeah. It's great they to can see. change a lot of lot of components. Um, Especially with our arrows. Our arrows are kind of cooler, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So you've got different kind of fletchings you'll see um, on bare bow archers. You'll see um, kind of like the spin wings. Uh -huh. And then you also have like the kind of glue on oh, yeah, fletchings yeah. that you'll see. So just a lot more variety. Anything that works. Yeah. Every archer is different. It has different preferences for what works for them. Yeah, for sure. And there, the another difference between bare bow and recurve is that the distance changes. Um, oh, with yes. With recurve, you're shooting the 70. And uh, with bare bow, you're shooting 50 meters. Yeah. I think I could take you at 70 meters, though. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll see you, I'll see you after the <laughs> Friendly <laughs> after competition the afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I actually get to shoot mixed teams this afternoon or later this morning. Oh, awesome. Um, how's your mentality change going into mixed teams? Um, it's definitely even more pressure going into mixed teams just because it only goes you, up, huh? It only <laughs> goes up because I have someone else riding on me. It's not just individual. It's, uh -huh. it's me and another teammate, and right. I... Don't want to let him down, so That's it's definitely fair, a yeah. different kind of mental game. Mm -hmm. Got Brittany up first with a, with a nine, amazing shot. Strong nine, right below the right below the center there. Got Sierra with a seven. Seven. Eight. 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 It's one thing about bare bows, like you never know what's going to happen. Anything can happen, so it's always yeah. a, an exciting thing to watch. Of course, yeah. Another seven, seven down. And these set points right now are three to one. Another nine for Brittany. Really strong performance there. Yeah. You can kind of see that fist bump there, that, that self-assured. Three sevens. Seven. Got a seven. Yeah. Triple sevens. That's a, that's a jackpot, right? <laughs> so it's looking like Brittany will take that in, but as you said earlier, it's it's anyone's game still. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And I believe that ties it up. Three to three. Yeah. Which this is, is going to uh, be a close match. Yeah, it was just very close, yeah. We could end up going to single arrow shootout. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if Sierra wins one more match outright and Brittany wins one more match outright, then we will see a one arrow shootout happening here. And the rain only seems to be getting worse. <laughs> yeah. It's 
It's definitely not my favorite weather to, to shoot in. I don't think it's anyone's. I don't think anyone out there prefers the rain. Yeah, yeah. Uh, our regionals was a little bit like this in the, in the eastern region mm -hmm. uh, at JMU. And it was nice. And then they, they ended up canceling shooting because of lightning. Oh, really? Um, yeah. But uh, it, was, it was pretty funny for, a little, for the little bit that we were shooting in the rain. Yeah. You'll see them wiping off arrows, you know, trying to keep the rain off of all of the equipment as much as possible. Um, yeah, even the, the smallest drop. as dry as possible as yeah. well. <laughs> <laughs> when I shoot wet, they got to they gotta somehow adjust for it. Yeah, I mean, everything gets harder in the rain. It's harder to aim. It's harder to hold your bow. It's harder to focus when all that's yeah. you. One good thing about the conditions today is that there's not a lot of wind. So you're just dealing with the rain pushing your arrows down. Yes. It's a nine. Uh, it's very close, to almost aligning. We've got a seven from Sierra. Seven. Could you give us some uh, insight into how they're adjusting? Uh, how they're adjusting their aim. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, so uh, typically when you're aiming with Verbo, you've found a point by now that kind of works for you. So it's all about, you know, keeping steady and being able to to hold until you get to that spot before releasing. Mm -hmm. um, a big part of Verbo shooting or all shooting really is that follow through with that right. release yeah, yeah. Um, and make sure you're completing that whole shot process before um, kind of stepping away and reaching for the next arrow. Yeah, of course. They're doing an amazing job um, yeah, for the conditions that they're well. in. And yeah. of course, this is a gold medal match, so you. Yes. So, coming up after this, we have the Barebell Men, then the Recurve Women and Recurve Men. Um, and that will sum up our gold medal matches. And then, after this uh, today, later today, we'll have the mixed team matches, as mentioned earlier. Um, and yes. they're, they're condensing those a little bit because there's an incoming storm. Um, yeah. So we're trying to wrap up as quickly as possible so everyone gets a chance to shoot. I was actually kind of sad to hear that we won't be recording the uh, gold medal match mix teams anymore. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of took my some of my motivation away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but here on the you're on the tail end, right, with the uh, the bare bow. So yeah. it's good for you that you're still going to get to shoot, likely. Yes. <laughs> ah, yes, recurve. Yeah. Recurve might, might if it gets any worse. I don't know. It's starting to lighten up a little bit. Starting to get back to the sprinkle it was earlier this morning. Yep. All right. All right, up for the third round. We it are is currently now. at 5-3 yep. um, with Brittany with five. So this match could end it all. Okay. Seven. Really consistently, consistently yeah. so far. Ten. Ten. Nice. Ten. It's a strong shot. It's a close match. Ten. Wow. Ten. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. she goes to show anything can happen here. Yeah. And with that, it looks like we're at a five to five tie. It does. Looks like we're going to have a one arrow shoot off. This is this one is of the so more exciting, exciting right? yeah. things that can happen um, across the archery field in, in a whole, um, especially during Barebow. As you can see, everybody, no matter what team, you see Lindsey Wilson, but you also see um, Cumberland's in um, Sierra's Nation, um, MSU Denver, out to support. So it's a fascinating thing to watch. Yeah. <laughs> so just uh, coming up in the uh, next month, there'll be the third of the four time. USAD events, and that will be in Chula Vista, California, from June 9th to 11th. And that is the SoCal Showdown. It's a pretty, pretty intense name for a yeah. tournament. Exciting. And then the final US, the USAD event is the Buckeye Classic, 
Classic, which will be in Dublin, Ohio from July 28th to 30th. And just as a reminder for those unfamiliar, unfam the United States archery team, the USAT, uh, the qualifier series are four outdoor tournaments that are held at different locations across the USA. These are open to archers seeking national competitive experience, but also want the excitement of competing alongside world champions and Olympic medalists. Yeah, I actually went to um, one of the USAT qualifiers back in uh, oh, Gator you? Cup. The Gator oh, wow. Cup shoot uh, was a USAT qualifier. So I got to see, you know, pros at their best, and it was really exciting. Um, I just recently got into archery this pre uh, past August. Oh, yeah? So I haven't been in the so archery uh, field for very year? long. Yeah, less wow. than a year. Yeah. So I've seen a lot, and I've gotten to see a lot of cool things and kind of fall in love with this sport. Yeah, I'm also pretty new to the sport. I've been shooting competitively for two years. So yeah. I, I went to indoor nationals last year and outdoor regionals last year as the two largest tournaments. But then this year, uh, this is the largest tournament I've ever been to. So it's really cool to see all these archers from across the U.S. Yeah. And it's great to talk to people, too. Like, the, there's just so many people here from all different colleges, shooting all, all different majors, shooting all different types of equipment. So. Yeah. And here they are for this one arrow shoot-off. They get one single arrow. And the closest to the middle is the winner. All right. Yeah! Got a strong yeah. shot from really Brittany. Good. The nine. All right, let's see how it comes down. Go, good shot. Nine. We okay. also have a nine. nine. Okay. These are really close. So yes. what the judges are going to do is break out a pair of calipers and All measure right. we'll the distance between the, the arrow and the center of the target. Yeah. The target judge goes down. And we'll watch that on the, uh, the broadcast. So you'll get to watch that in person as well. Yeah. Or as close to in person as you can get. I know these archers are are they're sweating. full of adrenaline. <laughs> while <laughs> yes, they are so eager and want to know who has won the gold medal for barebow women. Oh, I hope they break out the calipers. I haven't seen that in a while. Oh, oh, they're they're doing it, but we can't see. Oh no! <laughs> get out they're of the They're really way. building the suspense here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is a really riveting view of the, <laughs> the, the jackets. Yes, and we'll, we'll just get a spectacular reveal um, <laughs> Okay. when the scoring judge comes out and okay. calls and the match. Uh, okay, we can watch, okay. we can watch this one. Nice. We'll see it here. Okay. So the way they decide this is whichever one is closest to the center since it was a tie. Okay, let's see what it is. Oh, oh, you know what would be really cool? If they're the exact same distance. <laughs> oh! oh, wow. That's incredible. Wow. Oh, my gosh. This is, you don't see this very often. They're fist bumping. Look at that. Very rare. Look at that competitive spirit. That's wow. so fun. Yeah, it is, it, it is frustrating, but it's also really cool to go to a single air yes. shoot off like this. You're hearing the bare bow chant. Everyone's <laughs> chanting bare bow. Yes. <laughs> this is this is the sport. This is the community. They, we are all out here to have fun. But this is this is it's exciting. exciting. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So Whew, they got to refocus. They got to get back in the zone. They thought that was it. <laughs> got to come back from the celebrations and kind of. Yeah, I can barely hear you. It's so loud. <laughs> yeah. Performing very well under the pressure. Ah, uh, yeah. okay. And we have our winner. Still. Our winner is Brittany McCarthy. She is our Bilbo winner for women at the Collegiate Target Nationals. Yeah, still great shots from both mm -hmm. of them. Yeah. That was a really close match. That, that was, was one close, to yeah. watch.